This is an overview of the Pico Mini CMTS 200A. What we're looking at right now is a remote view of our lab that has the Pico connected to a docs control provisioning server. This is the GUI that shows the CMTS and allows you to change settings. I will scroll through each of the relevant tabs and go over it. This is just a graphical view of the frequencies that have been set already. Looking at the downstream channel, uh, you have the option to set each of the 16 downstream channels, either sequentially or in any uh, order that you wish. And uh, the set to Annex B, of course, which is DOCSIS, and uh, every one of the fields is uh, user definable. There are four upstream channels, and in this case, it's uh, optimized uh, for QPSK and a medium noise type environment, but you're capable of changing the modulation profile. The uh, IP address uh, in this case is set up uh, to be 192.168.3.2 for the CMTS uh, with a gateway of 192.168.3.1. The server that's provisioning this is set up as 192.168.3.3. It's important that uh, under server settings that the time sync uh, indicate the IP address of the server and furthermore for the log server it needs to also point out to that external device. SNMP settings need to be consistent with the settings that are in the modem config files. In this case, they're set to public for both read and write, and the same applies for the uh, cable modem SNMP settings. Uh, one of the things that it allows you to do is see all the cable modems in the cable modem list, and it will indicate which um, upstream channels and downstream channels are actually in use, as well as their power. Lastly, you have uh, full control over the software that's inside the CMTS, and as updates come out, it is relatively easy to upload those uh, files and upgrade the, the system. Switching now to what's actually controlling the uh, CMTS, this is Docs Control Core, and as we can see, there are eight modems presently connected in a mixed environment. That means that some of the modems are DOCSIS 2, some are DOCSIS 3. Um, unlike a Linux environment where only one config file can be utilized at a time with a freeware DHCP, we are able to assign different config files. So some config files work with DOCSIS 2, some work with DOCSIS 3, and furthermore, you can have additional config files that indicate speeds uh, such as 20 down, 3 up, 20 down, 1 up, or really anything that you'd like to uh, set up for the uh, CMTS environment. We can see that the upstreams and downstreams are all within the preferred ranges of, of DOCSIS. A lot of the uh, setup is handled in settings, and it's uh, very easy to do so. Once the IP address for the server has been set up, you would define your HFC network, which is the network that includes the server, the CMTS, and the cable modems. So in this case, the cable modems would take uh, a range from 192.168.3.10 all the way to 3.250. Uh, and from the client tab behind us, we can see that's exactly the range that is being assigned to cable modems. Uh, on the CPE side, this is for the computers or routers that will be connected to the modems. It's a completely different network, and that goes to the gateway IP, which would be your WAN router. The CMTS uh, settings and login and passwords are entered into the, the screen here. And lastly, you would indicate the default TFTP file name uh, if there is one. Typically, the default is no service if every single customer needs to be uh, provisioned. So that's basically, in a nutshell, um, a working lab that shows how Docs Control
can be used to communicate with the Pico Mini CMTS 200A to control the modems that are connected on this network. This is a live lab. In other words, if a computer is connected to any of these modems, it would be able to surf the internet based on the rules set forth in the appropriate modem config file. Thank you.